Francisco. Hey, Santos. How are you, man? Everything good? Hello, David. Yes. All right, man. All right. Good to hear that. How's everything back home? How's everything with your work? Uh, so far, so good. I've been good myself. You've been what? I'm sorry. I've been improving. You've been moving. Improving. Oh, you've been improving. Yes. How so? Why do you say so? Why do you say that? Because I have much more confidence now in taking a call. Maybe it's not a full English account, but maybe when I need to use my English, I do it confidently. I can say that now, and it's better than before. So, uh, I don't know, maybe the old people that I can speak with is native, but even that, they understand what I try to say or explain. And... All right, very good, very good, okay. Uh, what about you, Oscar? How's everything? Everything good, teacher. Everything good? Good evening. <laughs> good evening first. Oh my God, everybody's late today. Um, how was your day, man? Well, it's very good, teacher. Very good. Tired, but everything right. Everything okay? All right, very good. David, how are you, David? How's it going, Paul? How was your day at work? Uh, with a very work. With a lot of work? A lot of work, yes. yes. Right. As usual. That's, that's good, though, you know? Yes, that's good. That is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, and then uh, who else do we have here? Nuri. Hello, Nuri. Hello, How was your day at work today? It was great. It was good? All right, very good. All right, guys. So nice having you here, guys. We have another interesting topic today. But before we continue, guys, let's, uh, let's do a quick review of what we saw yesterday. All right. So far, guys, okay, you should be a, you should be able to know what a clause is, all right? What a dependent clause and what an independent clause is, guys. Okay, and how to use would, all right? The reason why that is very important, guys, is because we're gonna place all that into, we're gonna uh, place all that into practice today, okay? So Santos, what is a clause, Santos? Clause is a. It's, uh, it gives you uh, a full idea. Or... No, that's not the, that, that's not the definition of a clause, guys. What is a clause, David? A uh, clause is a sentence that contain a subject and verb. You're almost 100% right, almost. It's not a sentence, okay? A clause is not a sentence. It could be a sentence, but it's not a sentence. Mm -hmm. All right. A group of words, guys, not a sentence. Okay. All right. Because remember, you can have one sentence and you can have one, two, or three clauses if you want. All right. Very good. And what is the difference between a dependent versus an independent clause, guys? That independent, uh, we can understand the sentence. And dependent clause, uh, uh, you need more information. Very good. Okay, so a dependent clause, guys, will make you need more information, all right? All right, so we'll require you to provide more information to be understandable. All right, very good job. Okay, so that is that is the difference. Very good. Okay, and what is a relative clause, guys? What's a relative clause? 
relative clothes helps to connect two ideas. Okay, so a relative clause will help you connect two ideas, okay? Uh, all right, and what would be an example of a relative clause? Who, which, that. Very good. Great job, guys, you were learning, that's good, okay. All right, very good. All right, guys, so today, guys, we're gonna talk about first conditionals then, okay? Um, who has heard about conditionals, guys? Who has heard about a conditional before? Yes, yeah, Santos, tell me. Conditional is a, it's a way that you can use it independent of the context. This case okay. is like, uh, if I am, I remember well, is I will uh, give an example if uh, I had a good idea. Like, All right, very good. That is a conditional. You're right. Okay, that is not a first conditional, but that is a conditional. All right, very good. Okay, uh, who knows, guys, how many types of conditionals we have? Three. How many do we have? I'm sorry. Three conditionals. We have three conditionals, right? Very good, guys. So today, guys, we're going to talk about first conditionals, okay? So we're going to learn everything there is to know, there is to learn, guys, about first conditionals, okay? So we're going to go over first conditionals, guys, and we're going to have some practice. Um, so the objective for today, guys, is to learn uh, the use and the structure of first conditionals, okay? So what is... Hold on, guys. That's the wrong slide right here. Or here, okay. All right, so this, guys. So let's see. Nuria, help me read the example. Help me read the question first. Uh, a question? Yeah, help me read the question here first. What would you, okay, what would you do if it doesn't rain today? All right, what will you do if it doesn't rain today, right? If it doesn't rain today, I will steal a bank, all right? I will steal from bank. If it doesn't rain today, I will go out. If it doesn't rain today, I will walk my dog, okay? If it doesn't rain today, I will take my girlfriend for an ice cream, okay? All right, et cetera, so on and so forth, right? So, so what would you do, okay? What would you do, Oscar, uh, Rafa, Rafael Mayen, right? What would you do if it doesn't rain today? If it doesn't rain today, I will go out with my kids and play basketball. Good job, okay. Uh, Oscar, what would you do if it doesn't rain today? This, uh... I will visit my aunt. I will visit. I will visit my aunt. My aunt. Uh, Very good. Okay. Uh, Adrian, what will you do if it doesn't rain today? If it doesn't rain today, I will go to the movie theater. Good job. Okay. Ricardo. Hey, welcome back, Ricardo. Long time no see, man. I... What, what, where have you been? Uh, I was working on practice some, something. Sorry. All right, very good. So what will you do if it doesn't rain today? Um, if it doesn't rain today, I will I will play video games with my friend. In, in <coughs> my friend's house, house friends. Okay, in my, in my friend's house. Friend's very, house. Very good. Very good. Uh, Marcus, what will you do if it doesn't rain today? If it doesn't rain today, I will sleep with the windows open. Very good. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're the one who likes to sleep a lot, right? Uh, <laughs> Patricia, what will you do if it doesn't rain today? It doesn't rain today. I will go to the supermarket with my husband. Very good. All right. Pronunciation is go, not go. Go. Okay. Go. 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 You're not pronouncing no. it. Go. 
Ah, go. Go. Yes, okay, very good. Hilda, all right, what would you do if it doesn't rain today? If I doesn't rain today, I will doesn't, go. Doesn't, not if I doesn't. Doesn't, doesn't. Okay. If it doesn't. Doesn't. I will uh, go to room in the mountain. All right, very good. Okay, good job, guys. Okay, so that was that was just guys a quick. All right, that that was just a quick example of. All right, first conditionals. Okay. Now let me show you guys the whiteboard. Okay, remember guys to take screenshots, you guys, uh, and write them down in your notebook as well. Okay, so. All right, so let's talk about conditionals, okay? First of all, all right, so first of all, what is a conditional? So what's a conditional, guys? All right. A conditional, guys, is cause and effect, okay? All right, so remember these two words, guys, cause and effect. Okay, there is a cause, okay, there is a condition. You can call, let's change this to condition, okay? Condition and effect, okay? Got it? So that's a condition, all right? You're putting a condition for something to happen, okay? So David answered this question, you know, how many types of conditionals do we have, okay? So let's see, how many types of conditionals do we have, guys? How many types of conditionals do we, actually condition, how many types of conditional exist? Mm. Right. right, no. No. All right, the right answer, guys, is you got first conditional, write this down, guys, okay? I'm sorry, you have uh, zero conditionals, You have first conditionals. You have second conditionals. And you have third conditionals. And you have another category, guys, that's called mixed conditionals, which is a combination, guys, of conditionals. So this is not really a conditional. This is a combination of both and then you have a sixth one guys which is you know inverse or like uh reversed conditionals all right but you don't need th this ones are okay you don't need to know about this okay just these ones are like the, the ones you know that you can use without combining okay so we have four guys four main conditionals okay so your conditionals for condition first conditionals second conditionals and third conditionals all right now the one guys that all right they 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 all have a function guys okay so zero conditionals talk about what well i don't know guys do you know what zero conditionals talk about who knows i zero don't teacher okay very good all right, so zero conditionals, guys. Talk about uh, talk about facts, okay? All right. Then we have then we have uh, first conditionals. They talk about possibilities. Write it down, guys, okay? Because I'm gonna ask you later. All right, then you have second conditionals. I think you know this one, guys. What do second conditionals talk about? Imaginary situations, right? And then we have third conditionals and they talk about impossibilities, okay? things in the past that you cannot change anymore, okay? So far so good, guys? All right, so we're gonna talk about the first conditionals. Now, they all share something in common, guys, okay? 
what do you what do you think that they share in common what do you think they share in common situations the condition guys what they share in common guys is this okay first of all they share in common an if clause okay all right they all have an if clause okay they also share in common guys say for say for the zero conditional but the first and third conditional guys they have an auxiliary okay they all share an auxiliary all right and number three guys they all talk about condition and effect okay all right now this is important for you to know guys because as you progress through your levels you're going to learn about more about second conditionals more about third con zero conditionals and when you're in advance guys you're going to learn about third conditionals okay now third conditionals are like really really advanced okay now all right so this is what a conditional is guys and this is what they show in comments okay can I raise now? Did you take a screenshot? Did you send it to the group? Can I erase it? Yes. All right, very good. So now guys, we're gonna go over, you know, the, we're gonna go over a first conditional, okay? Now, when we talk about first conditional guys, what did I tell you we talk about when it's a first conditional? Possibilities. About the use. Possibilities, okay? Possibilities in the present or the future, okay? This is a first conditional, right? Now, let's take a look at the structure, okay? So what would the structure be like? Okay, so let's go with structure right so structure guys you have you have uh, the if plus okay if plus okay um if plus if <coughs> present guys okay present plus simple future this is it guys okay all right this is the structure guys if plus simple present plus simple future okay now let me ask you something guys can i can i say can i use uh if plus simple simple future plus simple Present, yes or no? Can I do it like this? What do you think? Yes, we can. Yes. No, no, we can't. Okay, we cannot. And I want you to remember that, guys, because that is a, a common mistake from all my all my students. Okay, let me get some colors there guys okay i want you to remember guys that the if clause okay guys do me a favor meet yourself guys muteense por favor guys si no están participando que necesito que se muteen porque hay mucho ruido en el in the background okay thank you thank you guys okay all right so so if guys okay i want you to remember this part right here guys because otherwise it gets confusing later on okay Okay, if guys will always, will always go together, guys, with simple present, okay? Que no se te olvide, cuando vos usas el if clause, acordate, right? El if clause es una clause que empieza con la palabra if, right? The if clause, guys, is just a word that, I mean, it's a phrase, guys. Not a, not a word, guys. It's a phrase. It's a clause that starts with the word if, okay? All right, so if will always go together with simple present. 
And then you have, and then you have um, over here, we're gonna get simple future, okay? So again, guys, to answer my own question, right? Can you use if, you know, plus simple future first? The answer is no, you cannot, all right? You cannot do this, guys, okay? These two go together, all right? Please remember that, okay? These two go together and these two, and this goes together, okay? Now, can I, can I do this, guys, okay? Now, this is another question, okay? Now, this is a little bit different. Can I use if, right? Let's use if uh, plus, actually, I'm sorry, guys. Can I use, I was gonna say this. Uh, can I use simple future plus, plus if plus, Simple present. Can I use this? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. The yes. answer is yes, guys. Because as long guys as the if clause is together with the simple present, then you can use this. Okay. So far, so good. All right. Beautiful. Then. Okay. All right. So that is the structure. All right, so let's get down to some examples. Okay. So example number one, guys, okay. Now let's uh hold on, I don't wanna I don't wanna get in the way here. I'm gonna say E examples, okay. Like that, okay, whatever. So let's get some examples here, guys. You know what? I'll do this instead. All done, guys. I want to do this because I, I need some space to show you something. All right. This year. Okay, very good, guys. So, examples, okay? So, let's talk about the clause. Let's start with, let's start with the clause if, okay? All right, so we have if, right? Now, give me a phrase, guys. You guys give me a phrase in simple present. I get if I get if I get some money, all right. If I get some money, comma. All right, don't forget the comma here, guys. Okay, if you start with the if plus, guys, you need to use a comma. Okay, if I get some money, all right, give me a phrase in simple future, guys. I will buy very good. So, I will buy a house, okay? See guys, simple present and simple future, right? So what this is telling us is that there's a possibility, right? If for some reason you get some money, you will buy a house. So it's for sure, there is a possibility, okay? This guys is telling us, hey, you know, uh, I get money, I probably will buy, I will probably buy a house, okay? I get money, there is a probability I will buy a house, all right? Now we can do it the other way around. You can say, you can switch it around, okay? So if you switch it around, it will sound like this. So you can say, for example, um, you can say, I will buy a house, no coma, right? I will buy a house. If, all right, then over here, 
I get some money. All right, very good. Um, let me ask you something, uh, David. Uh, how many clauses do we have here? How many clauses do we have here? We have two clauses. Very good. How many sentences? One. Very good. Ernesto Peñate. All right. How many clauses do we have here and how many sentences? The one. One what? One sentence or one clause? One clause. No. We have two clauses. Clause number yeah. one. Clause number two. All right. So, guys, this is called, okay, this okay. is called, this right here, guys, this part right here is called the, what do we call this, guys? I already said that. The if, the if what? Clause. If clause. Okay, guys, this is called the if In. clause, okay? All right. And this right here, guys, is called the main clause, okay? So in order to have a conditional, guys, we need an if clause and a main clause. Got it? Now here, guys, where do you have the main clause? I will buy a house. Is that the, is that the if clause? No. No. no okay. This is the main clause. Okay. Now here, in this example, this is the main clause. And this, guys, is the, the if clause. Got it? All right, very good. Now, instead of if, guys, you can also say, all right, you, there is another example, okay? You can also say when. When, all right, when I get some money, comma, I will buy a house. You can also say, all right, actually, you can do this one, guys, okay? So, how would, how could you turn it around? How could you say it in the other way? How can you say, I want you to use the main, the, the main, the main clause first and then use the, the when clause? I will buy a house. I will buy a house. When I get some money. Very good, okay. When, okay, so you can say here, when I get some money, okay? What is the difference? What do you think, guys? I know that you don't know right now, probably, right? So what is the difference between between when and if? When is more probable. Okay. So... When, when is what, guys? When, when, all right. So guys, the difference here, guys, mute yourselves, okay? Because there is background noise, thank you. All right, so guys, the difference here, guys, is that when you use when, this is something that you're almost sure that's going to happen. Have you ever heard this, this the, the phrase, no es si, sino cuando. Have you heard that? Right? So it's the same thing, guys, okay? Si obtengo dinero, voy a comprar una casa, right? But it's different. Cuando obtenga dinero. Got it? All right? ¿Qué quiero decir, guys? Cuando yo digo cuando en vez de si. Que cuando es que va a pasar for real, right? It's going to happen, right? So that is the difference, guys. So when you're sure guys that you're gonna get something for sure that in this example guys i'm sure that i'm gonna get money okay o sea, en este ejemplo, guys, cuando yo te digo, I, when i get some money okay i am sure guys that i'm gonna get some money okay no es que tengo la posibilidad sino que sí voy a obtener un dinero right the possibility comes here i will buy a house okay that is my possibility then all right very good um questions so far guys time for questions Questions? No questions, okay. Pretty good, okay. Now I'll give you more examples guys with, I wanna give you more examples with um, with uh, other pronouns and nouns, okay? 
Okay, more examples. Okay. So here, guys, is it okay for me to say uh, she will come home if I cook? Would this be correct, guys? Or should we? Should I say she will comes home? What is right? She will come home or she will comes home? The first. Without we'll S. Come. Without S. Comes. Without the S. No, without come. the S, guys. Without the S. The reason why, guys, because is because we're using a model, right? A model modifies the verb that follows after. Okay. Un model, guys, siempre modifica el verbo que le sigue. Okay. So el verbo tiene que estar en forma base. Okay. She will come. So it doesn't matter if it is third person or not, guys. Okay. You will use the base form of the verb. Got it? Now, would this be correct? She will come home if he cook. Is this correct? Raise your hand, guys, no. if you think that no. this is correct. No. No? All right. Good. Si no me levanta la mano y me está diciendo que está incorrecto, te voy a preguntar. All right. I'm going to ask the people, guys, the last person to turn on the camera. Okay. Le voy a preguntar a la, única, a la última persona que enciende su cámara ahorita. All right. So you got three seconds to turn on your camera. There you go. See? All right. So Rodrigo, Jose, and Tatiana are the last ones. All right. So um, Rodrigo. All right. So why yeah, is this? In, so why is this incorrect, Rodrigo? Because the first person of the second clauses is in need the ass. Yes, guys. The main clause, guys, since the, since it doesn't have an auxiliary, you need to place the S at the end, okay? All right? Necesitas poner la S, all right? Very good. Ingrid, okay, before you turn off your camera, all right? Uh, give me one example with all right, uh, a noun, okay? One ex example of what? Using a noun. A noun is, I don't know, Cheyenne. Cheyenne, okay, very good, okay. There you go. Let's go back to, to talking about Cheyenne, all right? Cheyenne? Cheyenne what? Cheyenne is... Um... He visits, perhaps? El Salvador? Okay, good job. Okay, so Chan will sing a song if he visits El Salvador. Okay, good job. Most friendly, guys. Good job. All right, very good. All right, keep the camera on, guys. Okay. Thank you, guys. Guys, okay. So this is pretty much the example. Okay. You can use other pronouns. You can use other nouns, guys. Okay. Whatever. Okay. But this is pretty much everything. Okay. So, question for you guys When, what is the difference between if and when, guys? The possibility of the success of the fact. Okay, very good. So, guys, if is a possibility, when it's when you're almost sure that something's gonna happen, okay? When you're like certain that you will get that, okay? Do you know that there the, that will be happening for sure? Okay, very good. Do my favor, guys. Uh, did you take a screenshot? Can I erase this? Let me know if I can erase this, guys. Yes, okay, very good. All right, so guys, um, you're gonna work together, guys. I want from everybody, guys, the same thing we did yesterday. I want from everybody, uh, I want five examples, guys, individual. I mean, you're gonna work in couples, but I want five examples individual, okay? Now, oh, I forgot something, I'm sorry. 
There's something else I need to teach you here. Okay. Now, can I erase this, guys? All right. You can. I will. Okay. So, there's something else that I wanted to mention, guys. Okay. Negatives. Okay. So, what if we're talking negatives? It is the same thing, guys. Okay. The if clause plus simple present plus simple future or simple future plus the if clause plus simple present. Okay. But the only difference, guys, is that you can say if, for example, if I don't, right? If I don't, um, if Cheyenne, right? Let's look, if Cheyenne doesn't, okay? If Cheyenne doesn't, doesn't visit El Salvador, comma, now you can use guys positive, negative, or negative and positive, okay? You can say he will sing, right? So that this means that he will sing in another country, right? Or he won't sing, okay? So basically, guys, it's simple future and simple present negative. Got it? All right. So I want five examples, guys, in positive and five examples in negative. And I also want, guys, okay, questions, all right? Now, we're going to do questions later, guys, but just FYI to ask you questions because I want you to practice, okay? You're going to have WH word plus a uh, simple future question, guys. So, plus will, right? What will subject, right? Uh, base form of verb. So, what will you do, for example? What will you do if it rains, right? And then you have the if clause here, guys, okay? If you can say plus simple present, okay? Plus question mark. So for example, here, guys, you can say, what will you do if you're, if your girlfriend the, uh, doesn't come Home. ¿Qué va a hacer si tu novia no llega a la casa? Right. Right. Got it, guys? So now, uh, don't worry about the questions today, okay? We're going to see questions later, guys, but just FYI, okay? Got it, guys? So negative form, guys, this is what you got. If Cheyenne doesn't visit El Salvador, he won't sink, right? So it is the same structure, guys. You just add the party called not, okay? Now, why am I saying, guys, if Cheyenne doesn't visit El Salvador instead of if Cheyenne not visits El Salvador. Because remember guys, to make a negative sentence in simple present, it needs to use the auxiliary doesn't, right? Does not, All right? Very good guys. So any questions guys on, on what we're gonna do right now? Yes, Ingrid, if you wake up early, you will arrive on time to work this. That is a good example. All right, then. So, five examples, guys, in positive and five examples in negative, okay? Cinco ejemplos, guys, en su cuaderno, guys, in positive and cinco ejemplos in negative, okay? Yes? Pretty good, guys. Están bien callados. ¿Qué les pasa? Lo dejó la novia, el novio. All right, very good, guys. Solo a mí, ¿verdad? No, I'm kidding, guys. That didn't happen to me. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Hello, Francisco. Hello. Hi, Rafa. Hi, Francisco. All right, so let's have your examples, guys. In my case, I, I will play soccer if uh, the class uh, ends early. Nice. All right. Okay. Let's see. If, if Real Madrid wins the classical, the classical. I will celebrate entire weekend are they are they still good 
Yes, of course. Better than Barcelona. Uh, I mean, I don't care we're, about football. We're going to have a problem. <laughs> um, I don't care about football. I mean, are they really good now without Messi? I mean, without Ronaldo? Yes. They're not the same. They're not the same. All right. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, teacher. Um, tell me. Example. Um, let me tell me if, if it's all right. My, if my younger son passed grade, who go out and celebrate? If my old, if my older son makes it to my, my, my younger son makes it through. My younger son makes it makes through, it through. Makes it through. Yes, through okay. first grade or whatever. I don't know what grade he's in. Sixth grade. Uh, okay. If my grade. younger son. Make it through sixth grade. Makes it six. Makes, makes it through it, sixth grade. Makes it through sixth grade. Okay, we will play soccer. Yeah. Okay. We'll play soccer. Okay. Well, we'll That's play great. PS5, PS4. All right, very good. Continue, guys. Work out. I think that you're trying. Makes. Makes with with S. With S, okay. Uh -huh. Work out. Work out? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the first clause. Mm -hmm. She will. She will. Mm. She, she will. She, be, she she will she will be the, the winner. Yes, be the winner. Okay. Okay. Number two. Okay. Uh, number two, for example. Uh, If she, if he, he, okay, follow the structure. If Fo he, okay, first, uh huh. The easy if way that to make this the structure is. First simple present and follow the simple future. Mm -hmm. That's right. If he read. That's, that's good. It's that's okay. good. That's okay. If I find my pet, I will be happy. That's a good one. Try the other one. Okay. Your tour. Okay. If I. If I don't drink water, I will be sick. Did you hear? If, if, no. Did, did you got it? If I don't drink water, I will be sick. Okay. Any questions, guys? Everything good? Everything is okay. All right. Tatiana is trying to do the third one. Okay. okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. I had a problem with my camera because my internet is in is it stable? Is it stable? Unstable. 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 But I, 
Yes, my, my, my internet is unstable too. Mm -hmm. But I try to. That, all right, that's okay. No more. Mm -hmm. So we are writing the sentence in, and after that, the chat? copy the sentence on, on our notebook. All right, very good. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? Uh, no question for the moment. For the moment, not teacher. Very good. Pretty good, guys. We. Teacher. Tell me, hello. I'm a little bit confused. What happened? Uh, in the number one, we, we got if I. Get no. If if I went out tonight, mm -hmm. no. If I no. get a get a car, if I get a car, I will go out tonight. It's okay. it's okay. Very good. Okay, so if I get a car, very good. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yes. And and the first and the. And number two, teacher, is if you come back late, I will be angry. All right, that's okay. That that makes sense, okay? Yes, that is also uh, correct. Number three, if we don't see each other tomorrow, we will see each other on the next week. We will see each other next week, yes. Ah, okay. So... I think we were wrong. Thing number four, if he came. Come. No. He's present. Right, teacher? Ah, uh, simple Te present. Teacher is, is <laughs> present, right? Which one? Tell me the example. <laughs> number four. Number four. Oh, no, you're not supposed. Did you finish the other thing? Did, did you finish the first? Are right, you supposed, guys, to do five examples? In positive and five examples in negative. What are you doing? <laughs> we are doing the exercise you sent to the WhatsApp group. That's not what I asked you to do, guys. <laughs> I mean, that's okay. You see, Nuri, I told you, Nuri. <laughs> All right, let's, let's work on the, what I asked you, guys. That's okay. For that. All right, guys, do you have your examples? Yeah. Yes, sir. Five and five? Yes. All right, give me one positive and one negative, please. Yes, uh, yes. first. Uh -huh. Go ahead. I first, okay. Yep. And the positive, I, if I finish my work, I will stay early in my house. Okay, if I finish my work, I will study early at home. Stay early. Ah, okay, at home. Right. Oh, it says stay. All right, you can stay. Okay. All right, very good. Uh, and the negative one? Uh, for me, uh, if I don't uh, play piano, I won't participate in a concert. All right, if I don't play piano, I won't participate on a concert. Sorry guys, I lost the connection. Yes, yes, if I play, yeah, if I play the piano, I won't participate in the concert. Very good, okay, that's good. Good job, guys, good job. Thank you. All right. Here we go. All right, guys, so, uh, really good job, guys. Guys, uh, I sent you, a couple of exercises to the WhatsApp group. Now that you have your five examples, and I heard your, you know, one of your examples already. Now that you have your five examples, five and five guys, okay, let's complete the exercises that we have on the WhatsApp group, okay? Got it? All right, so let's start working on them now, guys, okay? Thank you very much.
Okay, teacher. So we have to we have to use the, the two words that there are in the in the in the boxes. Yes, exactly. If I okay. go out tonight, I will go to the cinema, right? We have to we have to choose check and chow. Check and chow. Chow. No, no, no. No. No, 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 no. no. The ones yeah. in the parentheses. How do you say that? Yeah, the Sorry. one in parentheses. Parentheses, yes. Okay. Yes. Don't, don't put it in. Go out. I will go. If you get back late, I will be angry. All right. Okay. If you. I will check in. Uh -huh. Okay. If I go. If I go to out tonight. I will go to the, to the cinema. Okay. Number two. Number two. If you if you get, get back, back uh -huh, late late, I will be angry. I will be angry. Yeah, I think. I will be angry. Number, Number three. three. If we if we if we don't if we don't see don't each other, see each other tomorrow we 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 will we will see each other next week. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number four. If he if he comes. No. Remember, this is the first person. Comes. If he comes. Okay. Okay. I will be surprised. I will be surprised. Mm -hmm. Number five. Surprise. If we, if we wait, wait here, here, we will, we will be late. Late. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, number six. Number if, six. If we. If we go on holiday this summer, we will go to Spain. We will go to Spain. We will go to Spain. To, to Spain. Okay. Okay. Number seven. The number if, seven. If the water. If the weather. Weather. If the uh -huh. weather. If uh -huh. the weather. Don't. No. The, doesn't. 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 Uh -huh. doesn't. <laughs> doesn't. Doesn't. Okay. If the weather doesn't. If the weather doesn't. Doesn't. Improve. Uh huh. Improve. We we done. No, no. This, we this will. In the future. We, we will not, or we yeah. won't. We we will we will not. Uh -huh. We will not. Okay. We will not have have a picnic. Picnic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, number eight. If I if, if I, don't, I don't go to bed, I know. Don't worry. If I run every day, I will. 
David ejercitarse. Eh, eh, to work uh -huh. out or to exercise. Or work out the, the, the same verb. Yes, yes it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will work out. All right. Very good, guys. Let's go back. Okay, guys. Um, great job, guys. If you didn't finish it, guys, please finish it home. Okay. Um, but really good job, guys. Okay. Good job in general, guys. And uh, do we have any questions, guys? All right. Tomorrow, guys, is our last day from this section, guys. Please be early so we can. Um, well, we're not going to leave early, but <laughs> I'm be early, guys, okay? Because you have to be early, all right? Anyway, so, um, but yeah, guys, so to the more is the last day we'll see each other here, guys. So let's just be here and say goodbye, okay? All right, anyways, guys, uh, finish the platform, guys. Tomorrow I'll be going over the platform, the final exam, everything, guys, that you haven't done. So I'll, I, I expect to see you there, okay? Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your week. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. See you guys.